I'm thinking they're not in the thing, dog. I'm thinking they're not in the thing. Yeah, man, a big, dirty, nasty life. All right, I'm going to tell you about some of them boys. Some of them boys are on a real girl, you see? Some of them boys are since them start going into the world and I play music, them are see girl I do certain things and them they used to it. So when them sit and dance, them frightened. When we see them think they in a dance, music stop. Go on. Hey, dirty girl, come out of video like us. Skabesh, walk one. Bless up, bless up all of my viewers, all of my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics footer hype. Call out some selectors. Also, Deli Rang speak about how he start working with Mavado and Vibes Cartel. Plus, we're gonna review an artist called Hennessy Chimes with him new video call as a killer. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. My dog, man, I'm a murderer, I'm not know the hate that kind 25 for life, I'm for the time Now let my family fulfill for things So y'all hear the voice of the artist NEC Chimes With this music video as a killer We see the artist mash up over chat and laugh with this one right here You know, it's like we see the people them are take on to it and Lava interview him we hear what the artist have to say and right about now him still around with this one same way for 2022 him plan for drop more new music so when you can keep up with the artist you know any chimes same way follow him on IG check out piece more of this music video right here Book when my clock this If you broke like back low for low badness Money up in this in a my badness I'm not I gun this man a brandish so, me I watch an interview on the same chat and laugh you know with lava and me hear the artist mention something that talent only can stifle until it reach the right ears. So him not give up the man determined say him ready we drop some more song and him still a promote this music video so him fans them can see what go on and the man a make you know say him not in a no broke badness or anything like that so people me a go share the link of this song in a the comment section and pin it so after watching this vlog y'all can check it out also you can follow the artist NEC Chimes on Instagram notice the spelling yes people so give me a piece more of the tune Okay, so moving along the next topic right here, dance artist Radija hospitalized after a car accident. So people, we have to just careful on the road. Just the other day, Charlie Black artist Shaka Dax passed away from a car accident took place in St. Mary. Yes, people, and this right here happened in Trelawney. You know, the artist ended up in hospital, but he faced minor injuries despite the state of the vehicle right here. You know, him a doing thing recently, him dropped songs like No Love and Road of It Taken. Okay, so moving along the next topic right here as Shensia has been selected by Apple Music editorial team for its up next program. Yes people, so this is like a streaming platform's monthly initiative aimed at identifying, showcasing and elevating rising talent. Yeah, so as a part of this, you know, up next campaign agenda, the trending girl artist will make her late night TV debut with a performance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. You know, that's set for March 3rd, ahead of her upcoming album, Alpha. Yes, people, so more and more things popping up for Shensia, you know, as her album set to release next month. So we're looking forward to this, you know, a performance. I wonder which song she's going to perform on that show. Alright, so right here, Futa Hype upset and it's like the man a lash out upon some selector after seeing a tape. Him see Wagwan in a dance hall, you know, where them are enders in dance hall. It's like Futa Hype say, the selectors, them know better and them need to stop 
allow them thing you have to go on. Dance and them thing that we see your selector have man a kid a show him a girl in a dance a blue moon. No, brother. No. Mm -mm. You mad? Have to go go club for them something there, man. Alright, so people, remember you know, footer hype always say selectors, them are the gatekeeper in a dance hall. You know, certain artists, certain people are the gatekeeper in a dance hall who must not allow certain things because where dance hall culture I come from, it no known for certain things where footer hype talk about in the video in which I strongly agree them thing they no fi go on in a dance hall at all that gone too far rang up shaky yeah people so it's like now foot a hype a blame some of the selectors fi a allow certain lifestyle certain things where them where him see them a end us fi a go on like what he was talking about earlier in the video you know it's like foot hype a say some of them selectors you nowadays them too licky licky any or anything them will accept for money and it's like some of them into the whole lifestyle, you know, in which him see them are enders. It's like foot type of say some of them near man do all type of things too. That's why them are enders it. Yeah, people. So it's like foot hype, I call out the selectors, you know, and I say them responsible for certain things where him see a go on in a dance hall and them want make it normalized. Foot type of say anyhow. Him see nothing like that, you know, him a play music and him see nothing like that. Go on, you know, girl and girl and them type of things there. Him a stop play the music, him nah do not show and carry on. Futa hyper say, him a stop play music, it done de so, him a pack up, no show can go on. <laughs> yeah people, so, Futa hype him always look into things a bit different. Him nah just blame the patrons who are endorse them type of things there. He may blame the selectors who a play the music and a entertain the people them. Although them see them think they are going in a dance just because them get pay from the promoter, them still a go play. And Futa I make it clear, certain and certain songs can't get play from him. You know, the songs them where endorse certain things for coming a dance all is like Futa Hyper say, the selectors them need. Because where Futa Hyper say, you know, the selectors them have them play a strong part in a the music and them have a responsibility to and know where them are bring in a dance hall culture. Yes, yeah, so that a way footer hype I put out there. You see means like foot hype I say if a man wanna see them type of things there, him know the type of club where him need for go. So Futa hype now want to see them type of video they are surface round. It's like you can see footer hype well upset. After him talk about the video where him go see with woman and man and where them do, you know how footer hype go on already. Yeah, people, so it's like foot hype, him a lash out and I call out some of the selectors. I want some of the selectors who are watch this for comment and let me know what y'all think about footer hype view on this whole thing pertaining to what he's saying about certain things being endorsed by some of the man them who are play music. It's like foot type of say them responsible for some of the slackness walk one because if the artist them go to them with the song for play and them don't play it the song it a go stand a harder chance to get out there the real way you know so it's like foot type of call out some of the selectors not only artists we always see foot hype i talk about the artists them we sing certain things you know and all type of things walk one it's like foot type of call out some of the selectors too. You see me? Okay, so now I'm gonna feature this video with Deli Ranks from a recent interview with Cassette Jones. Big up Cassette Jones. It's like Deli Ranks I speak about Vibes Cartel and Mavado in the early days, you know, when them a vice for big ship, you know, see a crazy thing them time they when every artist a vice pan the same rhythm. Yeah, so it's like him a talk about how him get Vibes Cartel for Vice. You know, Vibes Cartel did have respect for Deli Ranks from long time. You know, even before them start to work together around Big Ship. Yes, people. So, right here, 
you don't know from your love music you are going to enjoy this clip right here as Deli Ranks you know just reflect on the moment he met Mavado and speak about working with Vibes Cartel. Them get me angry, get me miserable than Bunty Candy that song was recorded on Nico Bam Bam with him. And after Steve done play over the pan Nico with him, I hear him from the drum machine. I do something to, to I said, no, don't play this, or play this card. Like we steal them, teach me. Mm. Think when we used to up and steal them studio. Mm. Let them give me that vibe there, oh, I can tell you, try this and try that. And I say, yo, steal it, tell me, say, the sneer, uh, make rhythm nice. Mm -hmm. So make sure the sneer right and the sneer drop the right place. Mm. See, and I'm going to tell Steve, say, here we go. We're going to change dance all with that rhythm here. Come and feel it. That you're telling. Yeah, I'm going to tell him, we're going to drop the sneer. Dun, 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 dun. You see me? Mm. And him do it. And when, when him make the beat, Chino come into the studio. And Chino start DJ. Red Bull and Guinness in my system. Big the shirt. Because Chino sang that in my song. I don't know nothing about the writing. About that song. See? Chino come. I say, yo. You do a two with Kipritch already. And Kipritch get the bus in. They go bus you. That is. you go do that song. Yeah. That is. Yeah, we are going to name the rhythm Red Bull and Guinness. People, you hear that? This are the, the rest is history, you hear that? History class, that you know. More are you the rest, man. Where you are here? All right, then. So, Red Bull and Guinness have you and Chino. Who else step on a rhythm then? When we see Norris, man, I tell Norris, man, so we have a rhythm, mm. we have a change the world. You never do dance all it, and more you come sing on a rhythm. And to me and Norris, man, have history. Mm. I remember when Sting used to keep in the National Stadium. Yeah. Uh, underneath the jinx, jinx truck. Me and Norris man go and go in a sting. <laughs> Underneath the gym, because you know, we stay them east there, so. Yeah. And there, so you go in from you know. So we go underneath the jinx truck and go in. And when the jinx truck stop, we take time, take time to screech it from under the truck and go in. So me and Norris man, you know, serve a lot of history and me see me do good. So I don't forget where I come from. So I tell him to come in. And Norris man forward. And him say, Big long gun go over them yard. Till the phone and Nancy Dog. Then they get a you, they have moved to hard, hard, hard. It. Link up Wayne Marshall. You know? Yeah. Record myself because I, 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 I put two songs on the rhythm there. Yeah. You know? And me I say, yo, the rhythm is dark and nice. I want Bone to kill up on the rhythm. Mm. Zane, make a song for Bone to kill too. And we say, we are going to check him. I'm going to check Bone to kill and I tell him, Buccaneer was there. Mm. And. The rhythm I play in the background of the car and hear my father sing. My father? Yeah. I never know his name at the time. But I hear him sing. I hear the melody. Where they might do, do, where they might try. I hear it because he's not singing too loud because the general never check. Mm -hmm. See, I hear the melody. And from I hear the melody, I turn around and say, Who that? I say, Me, sir. I say, You record that. I hear that song. Me. And then, I say, you record that song later? I say, no. I say, come check me for a big shit. Choose them, they got bust upon it. So said, so done. The man said, Mavar, the big song. Where them I do? Him hear that and invited the artist to come record it. That song became one of Mavar's biggest anthem. This man we are talking about in you know, a daily ranks. Me know no founder never know that in you know. So big up my father you know, because the song come cross. So it helped me and it helped him. But it helped him more. <laughs> Alright then. Talking about Movado. Movado and Mr. Adija Palmer became two of Jamaica's biggest rival immediately. Duplicating what Beanie Man and Bunty did. Zane? You also have catalogs for Vibes Cartel. Can you expound a little bit on how those relationships was formed and how you actually get him for Vice Pandem with him there? Alright, now you see Vibes Cartel. I read Vibes Cartel. You know why? When we start productions, I'm going to reach out to Vibes Cartel. I'm the first producer who put Vibes Cartel upon a reggae with him. I read him called the push come to shop, the, the remake of the push come to shop. I put him party to a girl called Maria. You know, Mr. Earl Smith's daughter. Mm -hmm. Zane and 
I always tell them, say, I'm going to lock the place in because it's a youth way. I'm full of lyrics, I'm witty. But while trying to record him, him look at me and tell me, say, Deli, you don't remember what you do for me? You see, I say, what do The man say, you don't remember when you used to keep your birthday party there, a cactus. One night I come to you and ask you if I can hear a DJ, you say, oh, you mean? And you bring me in and make me go sing. You don't remember. Me never remember me tell him to come sing, mm. but him tell me, say, me tell him to come and I bring him in. I make him sing and him say, yo, I pay my dues already, so he might pay back him dues. D Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel tell me that. So big up Vibes Cartel anyway, anyway I'm there. Adija, big up your damn self. Big up yourself. Yeah. And, and me and him develop a great relationship where um, when I produce him, I always put two songs for me beat them. Two songs? Always. Always. Check, check any beat me about Cartel, they're on it, they're two, they're on it. So yeah, big yeah. up cartel anyway, big up 